The 4th of July weekend in the US is a weekend where ferries would typically race to Pittsburgh to attend the world's second largest ferry convention, Anthrocon, which is cancelled due to the current pandemic. Despite this, instead, it became a weekend where ferries had a history lesson on the ferry fandom's multicolored multi history and how that shaped the community today. At exactly 8 a.m. Singapore time last Friday, Ash Coyote's ferry documentary feature film The Fandom premiered on YouTube, furries attracting much positive sentiment among furries and non-furries alike. The nearly the one and a half hour feature film has documented the journey of furry fandom, from its humble beginnings as small art meetups to a full-blown community spanning multiple nations around the world. As the film revealed, there were twists and turns encountered along the way which involved politics, the media and sexuality. But in the end, this was wrapped up with a look at how far the fandom has came from those times and how it changed people's lives for the better today. It's my hope that non free audiences will walk away from this film with a clear understanding of who we are as a community. That we're not just some fetish community, that we aren't, you know, like just a bunch of fursuiters. It's a dynamic group of people that all come together with an interest in anthropomorphic arts and we celebrate it. And there's all sorts of different components and dynamics to that that we bring together. And hopefully this will lead to, you know, future generations just having a better understanding of what our community is about. Much positive sentiment then flooded the hashtag the fandom on furry social media, especially on Twitter, which became a trend in the United States. Many showed support for the film through donations and written encouragement, with some stating the film has brought to them a new form of respect for furry fandom history. The film so far has amassed a total of more than 95,000 views on YouTube. 